Peace. This is a meat and potato sourcing production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is Jehovah doesn't care. I want to be very clear and say it again. Jehovah doesn't care. Now, what does he not care about? Well, let's get into it. Now, as we know, literacy is a big problem in the United States. Let me illustrate, and anyone can fact check this and get the stats for themselves. Now, high school students have, upon graduation, a fifth grade reading level. But wait, it gets even dire. Between the ages of 16, upwards to 74 years of age, the reading level is no it does not go past the sixth grade. 70% of people in America do not go to a bookstore and they haven't done that within five years. So what am I saying this for? If you can't read, you can't comprehend. So if you can't do these things, how are you going to get these grimoires and excel? And this is where Jehovah enters the picture. I remember when I was trying to do a so-called cheat code because there's many departments when you're trying to deal with the Akashic Records. So, lo and behold, who would I run into telepathically? It was Jehovah. So, I wanted to just get to the heart of the matter. And I asked Jehovah, pointedly, I said, do you have a problem with people practicing magic on the planet Earth? And this is what he said to me. So what he said to me, I'm going to communicate to you and I'm going to further expound on it. He said, I don't care if you do or you don't practice magic. I'm just not going to help you. So I got the answer that I wanted. So to take it one step further, because this was years ago when me and Jehovah had this conversation. And he straightened me out and he let me know exactly what it was. So. I had a conversation with Archangel Michael and he knew he had came to me and spirits. Sometimes if they work with you, you don't always have to use the sigil and just wait. They know that you're going to contact them about certain questions. So I did my divination and my summoning. Michael was already with me. So I asked him, are you under the command of Jehovah? And Michael said, no, I don't answer to Jehovah. I had to take it one step further. I said that conversation that me and Jehovah had, which many would consider unverified personal gnosis, which basically means when you have that, that's your experience, but it can't be necessarily proven or disproven, but that is what it is. So I put the question to Michael. He said, yeah, Jehovah told you the truth. He don't care if any human practices magic. He's not helping no humans learn magic. And this is where the logic has to come in. Just about any angel will help you with magic, whether it be Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Raziel, definitely will help you with magic. So it goes to this. Jehovah is very stoic and indifferent. He does not care. You have a better chance and ask yourself this. And I don't want to deal with the so-called beginning of civilization with naked lovers and their unadulterated passions. I don't want to deal with that. What I do want to deal with is logic and reason. Now, Jehovah, when all this took place, wouldn't you think, a since he's supposed to be the creator God, wouldn't you think he wouldn't imbue all these qualities in a flawed vessel. And that's what humans are. Then you have the angels. Then you have the so-called fallen angels and demons. Don't you think all this could have been avoided? And like I said, Jehovah does have a role, but it's not. It's a minor one at best. And like Michael said, I'm not under his command. Michael told me that himself. And we talked about my guardian. And he said, yes, all those are your angels. And at any time you ever need me, I'll be there for you.
But here come the best part. I said, have you and Lucifer ever had conflict? He said, yes, we've had our conflicts. He said, but my role is not to try to destroy Lucifer. And we have worked together in the past. <gasps> right, they have. And he said, and we will work together in the future. They just have their differences and they've had their conflicts, but they've worked together before and they're going to work together again. So Jehovah doesn't care about you like that. And I know that you have these movies out like Sound of Freedom, which I think is a very quality movie. And you have Nefarious. But again, this is entertainment because I'm saying this right now. Religion is making a comeback. It is. And it's going to use certain films because these woke freaks have opened up an opportunity to do so. So no, Jehovah don't care about you like that. Whatever you do is what you do. Because there's a spark in you. Now, it could be celestial or it could be infernal, but the black flame is in all of us. Whether or not you choose to feed it or activate it is entirely up to you. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.